Hey everyone, it's D-Man Swish. Today I'm going to show you my top 5 game choices for the Sony PlayStation 3. Today, from 5 to 1 in order, I'm going to show you NBA 2K10, MX vs. ATV Reflex, Motorstorm, Grand Theft Auto 4, and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. So I'll go ahead and set up NBA 2K10. This game is really lifelike to NBA basketball games. You got all your favorite teams, all your favorite players, and it's just awesome. So I'll go ahead and set up for a quick game real quick here. And I'll play as the Denver Nuggets because that's my favorite basketball team. Just letting it load here real quick. Alright, so I'll be... So let's go get the nuggets. Alright. And I'll verse Orlando Magic. I'll play a quick Welcome round to here. Orlando Magic square up against the savvy Denver Nuggets. It's Friday Night Basketball here on 2K Sports. And it's also cool because it tells you what day you're playing on and everything. We are live in Denver, Colorado, the hometown for the Nuggets for an Eastern versus Western Conference matchup right here. Welcome to the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg for 2K Sports for this Friday afternoon broadcast. And our T-Mobile starting lineups. Here's a look. And now it's time for the Sprite Ice Bowl Keys to the game. And Clark, looking at the Magic, what do they need to do to secure a win? Well, Kevin, free throws are a big concern. They're a team that struggled at the line. They were dead last in free throw percentage last season. That can make a big difference down the stretch in a close game. So we'll see if it's a factor. Hey, Clark, uh, since we're talking about the keys, uh, what about Denver? What do you think will be the key for them? Well, they've got to find a way to limit Dwight Howard. He was the top rebounder in the league last season. Let's see what kind of game he has on the glass. All right, this. here we go. Here's Martin. Now, Carmelo Anthony is great in this game. He has great, you know, balance, great Two shot, nine. just like in real life. Working on Howard. Chauncey. Oh, man. So, yeah, this game is great for a basketball fan. Uh, has great realistic graphics. Uh, feels like you're actually at the game. Yeah, it has every arena that you can think of in America. So. And here is Billups. Carmelo backs him down. Let's put the ball in his hands, Kevin. We'll watch him go to work. He's going to make something good. Howard. Turn over by the Magic. All right. And here's Billups. So, yeah, this is NBA 2K10. The train. Clyde Howard grabs the board. That was not right, a good shot so tonight. You need to be patient, move the ball, move the defense, and find someone for an open shot. Alright, so next, I will show you MX vs. ATV Reflex. So let me get this game ejected out here real quick. Now this game is awesome as well because you get to go around playing, riding uh, ATVs or dirt bikes. So it's basically an awesome off-roading game. So 
So this game has many different vehicles to choose from, from like dune buggies to trucks to ATVs to dirt bikes, and also the freestyle is also really awesome. So I'll probably just go do the freestyle real quick and see how that goes. We'll go to arcade and then we'll do free ride. We we'll just use my MX bike. Alright. We'll go to Icarus Minnesota. And before you start each event or whatever, you get to practice a little bit. Yeah, this game has great graphics. Whenever you whip off on the dirt and all that, it leaves the tracks where you were, so that's pretty cool. All right, so at every point, they drop you off in some kind of they in some way they drop you off, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can just pretty much roam wherever you want here. You got three places to choose from. This one's the best because you know you're up in the mountains with the snow and everything. So, yeah, just you go around doing races and, and crashing is even realistic, so that's pretty cool. But, yeah, you just go around doing races, doing competitions, and this game is awesome. You can win vehicles and do everything else. So yeah, this is MX vs. ATV Reflex. Alright. So I'll quit this real quick. And then, number three on the list is Motor Storm, which normally came packaged with the PS3. This game is also awesome in graphics, so let me go ahead and get that set up. Yeah, this game is also great graphics. It has all your off-roading fun like the last one I just reviewed, MX vs. AT Reflex. And then they also had a second motor storm, which was called Pacific Rift, which is also great. But the original first one's a lot better, I think. So we'll go ahead and get this one set up. So yeah, this one has a bunch of racing as well, or you can just, you know, go around, driving around in free races or whatever. So yeah, this one, you know, I just basically go around doing a bunch of different races, different uh, tracks. Well, let's go ahead and do the first race here. In the first race, you can pick up any vehicle you want to use. So, I'll go ahead and use the racing truck for this one. So, I'll just go ahead and use this truck real quick. And during each race, before it, it'll teach you what the track about and what ve what each vehicle's ability can do during the track race. So yeah, that helps out a lot as well.
taking a little while to load here. I don't know why. There we go. Alright, so yeah, you get to race a bunch of different styles of vehicles. And so yeah, this is, pretty gr this is a really great game. So I recommend it because it's a lot of off-roading, a lot of fun. The other one I reviewed, MX vs. ATU Reflex. This one has a lot of pretty much the same graphics, but a lot more different vehicles. Each vehicle has its own ability of where you can go on the track, so sometimes the mud isn't the best for a uh, racing truck. Just go around doing different races and different tracks. Alright, so yeah, this is Motor Storm. Alright, second, I will show you Grand Theft Auto 4. Now this game is probably the best Grand Theft Auto of the series. And it has great graphics as well. When you drive, you know, you have the feelability of like when you're actually driving, actual steering. So, yeah, that game is also as well. Alright, so I'll eject the motor storm and put in Grand Theft Auto 4. This game is number two because, you know, I like Grand Theft Auto. Those are the really great games for all systems. So, let's get this one set up real quick. So yeah, you just go around doing what you basically do on all the other Grand Theft Auto's, doing missions. And this one actually refers back to the third one where you take place in Liberty City again. But this time you come back with a lot better, you know, graphics and everything like that, so. See, this one doesn't take us too long to load as well, uh, like San Andreas. San Andreas is fast loading, and this one's fast loading as well, so, you know, more game time. And, of course, I've beaten this game, so... So I'll just go run around real quick and just show you how it, you know, plays out. So yeah, this game is really cool. You have great graphics for driving and everything else. Let me just go find like a car real quick. And when you get hit, it's a lot more realistic too, so... And some of the older cars in this game, too, are, like, you know, kind of crappy. So, like, like, so you see, like, a poor person's car, you know, compared to a rich person's car. There's different kind of you know, graphical cars. It's like some cars are hard to start because of how, you know, beat up they are. And running over people, they don't just, like, you know, flat lay out. They, like, actually roll and tumble and stuff, so that's pretty cool. And all these crashing 
uh, damage it does to the cars and stuff is just amazing. So yeah, this is Grand Theft Auto 4. So, in number one is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Now this one is the best. I have to admit that they made it really good. Uh, the graphics are great, the cars are great, the races are great, everything about it is just awesome. So, I'll go ahead and put that one in. So, let's go ahead and set this up here. Yeah, all the great cars that you, you're known to. And, you know, you can even play online with your friends and race them and stuff, so that's that's awesome. And it ha also has great music selection, like all kinds of different types of music. And but yeah, I like all the car selection you get in this game. Just great cars and races and everything. So go ahead and let this load real quick. So you got all the different brands of cars in this game. So yeah, I saw this game right before Christmas, so I had to pick it up. It, I just couldn't pass this one by, so... And I, it just became instant classic to me, so... It's just an awesome game. Especially uh, Need for Speed for the PS2. Yeah, that one was cool, and that inspired me to get this one, because, you know, they always make great games. Alright, so, I'll just, you know, go to Korea real quick. Probably pick the first race, because we'll show you how it's like. Alright, so this game has great graphics to your cars and track, the environment around, everything is just awesome about it. Alright, let's get this race started. So yeah, this game is basically like, you know, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 for the PS2. But it has a lot better cars, a lot better graphics everything so yeah this game is amazing steering's a little hard but not too bad once you get playing it it's a lot easier to control so yeah this is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for the PS3 and thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed this game review